Covering election 2016, polls open at 7 in the morning for primary day and voter decisions on who will be state attorney, who will represent us in Congress, and whether Duval County residents will keep paying a local sales tax for pension reform. The supervisor of elections tweeted this photo of the warehouse team distributing essential items to precinct managers. Channel 4's Jim Piggott went to a Northside precinct to watch the final preparations there. I'm here at the Spirit of Life Church in North Jacksonville. This is Precinct 211. There's about 2,000 registered voters here. And what's happening right now is these poll workers are setting up for tomorrow, setting up these voting booths, getting everything ready so when the doors open tomorrow, it should all go smooth. Now, this is happening all across Jacksonville, actually all across Florida, as they're preparing for this primary day. Right now, election officials are reviewing absentee ballots for problems. These votes have been cast, but not counted. And while turnout is low, this election will decide a lot for our future. We've got a senators on the ballot. We have congressional seats on the ballot. We've got an open congressional seat on the ballot. We have a referendum and amendment to our Constitution, a whole bunch of House seats, judges, school board. There's a mayor's race in Neptune Beach. There's a lot of things on this ballot. Jacksonville will decide if a sales tax will take care of our pension problem. We'll know the result tomorrow night. Also, one of the most highly publicized races for state attorney will essentially be decided tomorrow. Angela Corey is behind in the polls with challenger Melissa Nelson, Wes White a distant third. The same in the public defender's race. Incumbent Matt Shirk is trailing challenger Charlie Kofer. The winner of each of these races will only face write-in opposition in November. Republicans traditionally take the seat in the 4th Congressional District. Seven people are vying for that seat. Corrine Brown faces major competition in the race for the 5th congressional seat, where Democrats usually prevail. There are a number of state house races that will be essentially decided tomorrow. And one house race to watch involves incumbent Reggie Fullwood in District 13. He faces a federal indictment, and that could lead to a change in the district. A number of counties have races for sheriff. In St. John's, Sheriff David Shore is running again with Republican opposition. Clay County, with Rick Beasler stepping down, there will be a new Republican sheriff elected tomorrow. Also in Clay County, the school superintendent's race is raising a lot of eyebrows. Charlie Van Zant is facing a Republican challenger, Addison Davis. And in Nassau County, it's an open race for school superintendent with Republican Janet Atkins and Kathy Burns. Poll workers here on the north side have left for the day. They'll be back tomorrow when they open at 7 a.m., close at 7 p.m. And if you can't make it to the poll tomorrow in Jacksonville, you can still vote absentee downtown at the uh, supervisor's office, but you have to do that before 7 p.m. We're live in North Jacksonville. Jim Pigott, Channel 4, the local station.